Welcome to video three of six, which you, um, you can watch these videos in any order you'd like to. Um, they are um, numbered at the bottom of the video. They are from the same gallery reading done in December of 2023. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2023. And the mediums you're watching are Suzanne Northrup and Cheryl Murphy. You can go back to the first video and watch the intro to that to explain more about the series and what's going on um, and the reasons why I'm doing these in, in or, um, you know, so many different ones when it's clear what's going on. It's cold reading and um, some of it is pretty bad cold reading, but that's not the point. The point is to understand what's happening and why these motivated sitters, the people who are getting the reading, are so animate that they are getting a good reading, that this is this is happening. At least it appears that's what they're thinking. So the reading we're going to watch next, this is Cheryl Murphy, and she's going to be giving a reading to one person, but I believe another person appears, and she's talking with them briefly, and then they, they're pinned onto the Zoom screen, and they're not taken away because the assistant who's paying attention isn't obviously paying attention. And she pinned the person, and then that person is just sitting there like a bump on a log, and while the other one's being read. At least I think that's what's going to happen. I haven't watched this video in a while. So um, let's get into it. You're going to probably need a pen pencil and paper, or pen and paper, or something, or some way of taking notes, because this is all very... Um, comes at you fast and it's really hard to get the real gist of it whenever you're just sitting back and listening because there's going to be a lot of things happen and your mind's going to be racing to make things fit just like the motivated sitters are going to be doing. So this is going to be Cheryl Murphy who is um, uh, trained by Thomas John but of course she's not trained to hot read she's just trained in mediumship generically whatever that means. I got my pencil. I got my note paper. I'm ready as I can be. Let's get started. Um. Ah, uh, gosh, just so many people coming through right now, everyone. So let me just. So much it. love. So much love to give it all. <laughs> what else to give it all? Uh, I do feel like I have someone's mom with me is where I'm going. I feel like I have a mother with me. So it's, um, and I heard the month of July is significant. So just to share that with you. And um, I almost feel like um, you're one of three children, I believe, if that makes sense. I could be your mom is one of three, but I feel like you might be one of three children or one of two children for sure. But can anyone understand that? I, mom's past um, I do feel like it's from an illness. Uh, I don't know if it's, hi Tracy, I don't know if it's from COVID or around COVID time she passed, but it, I do feel it's from an illness. Hey, Tracy, can you unmute please? Um, hi. Hi. Um, my sister and I were both born in July. My okay. mom did die of an illness, but it's been about eight years. It's been a long time. Okay. Hang with me. And then, uh, do you there understand? There was another woman that had her hand up. Yeah, um, thank you. Hey, Sharon. Um, hi, Sharon. Can you unmute? Hi. Listen. hi. Uh, my mother has passed, and I'm one of three. One, she had three children. I have two. In, and they're next to each other. Are they really? Yeah. On this my screen. Is, this is actually, my... actually, Tracy, well, Patty, Amy, and and Patricia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they raise their hand, right, they come to the front of the screen. So let me just bring some more information through, okay? I do feel respiratory with this woman. So that's why I'm feeling that. As Patty's shaking her head. Yes. Amy, can you take that too? Yes. And Patricia, yeah. can you take that? Patri nope, not Patricia. Okay, let me just narrow it down, please. And uh, uh, Tracy, you can keep listening. So I feel like you have her rings or her ring. Can you understand that, please? You have a ring that is significant. Also, please, a ring or her rings. I have her wedding rings. Oh, Patty Oops. says yes. And Amy, can you take that, please? No. I don't have any rings, no. Thank you. May I work with Patty, please? Yes. And uh, Tracy, just keep listening. But I, I do feel 
uh, uh, I do feel something with Patty. It's not Patty. It's her. It's her gift, Cheryl. What does that mean? I, I'm with Patty, but it's Cheryl. It's not with Patty. Patricia. Right. My mom died in July. She was one of three. She died in July of 2019, shortly before COVID, okay. of an Ill, of cancer. I see. What you're saying is Patty gifted you a ticket. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It takes me all. Yeah, away. and she's here with me. I'm just sitting next to her. Yeah, her she picture just came up. So there's we're some good. woman shaking her head no. No, Patty, Patty no I, I gifted I gifted my seat to my brother. Oh, I see. But Patricia, you are here. I don't understand what's happening. But yes. I'm just gonna yep. have a woman yes. with me. I yep. want to connect with. Yeah, there's Patricia. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's the <laughs> there's, there's a couple of Patties here. Look at this. Yep. Okay. 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 So Patty G mm -hmm. with the white t-shirt, white blouse on. Do you under can you take that information? Yeah. My my mom died in yeah. April mm -hmm. during COVID. Okay. Very good. Alone. Respiratory, and you have the ring. Respiratory issues that resulted from okay, very good. a Thank you. house fire. That Thank you. Okay, stay, stay with of. me. Okay, stay with that. Uh, and then Patricia, the what is your name then? I'm sorry. Cheryl. Name? Oh. Your name is Cheryl. So I have Cheryl and Patty G that can both take the information. That's what I just need to know. I just need to make sure I'm working with who I am. Um, I, Patty G, I do feel strongly with you, but I'm going to work with Cheryl too. So I may have both of your loved ones. I'm not sure yet. Let's keep working. It seems like there's a lot of uh, things you both can take, right? You both understand July, the, right, the time of passing around there, the respiratory, having a ring. Cheryl, you mentioned having a ring. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot. And this is what spirit, this is the beautiful intelligence of the spirit world is they will uh, bring through as much information to as reach as many as they can. Um, you know what I felt earlier can one, and I may have both of your loved ones. So would under, uh, would either one of you understand Florida, please? Florida. Patty G, can you take that? Um, spend a lot of time in Florida. Spend a lot of time. My mom who's passed her grandson lives in Florida. I spent, I spent a lot of time there. Thank you. We used to spend a lot of time there as kids. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, and finally, because uh, I do feel I'm, I'm with Patty more than Cheryl at the moment, but that doesn't mean yeah. your loved one's not here, Cheryl. Uh, but let me just feel, feel, feel one more piece of information. Does someone recently either packing their bags to take a trip? Or one of you ladies packing bags to take a trip? I see, I see two bags packed. Yes, in your life. Can you understand that, Patty G? Or I am in the process of packing bags. Okay, very good. Florida. Okay. As well as yeah. my brother. Yeah. Okay. So Please. Cheryl, I do believe I'm more with Patty at this moment. Absolutely. So I'm going to put you on mute, but you can, please, if you can take any of this information, I'm sure that your loved ones here as well. But I asked for something that could help differentiate and I heard pack bags or I saw two, you know, Mary Poppins pieces of luggage kind of thing. Uh, I do want to say, uh, Patty G, when I bring through your mother, is there an S name or an S initial, please? Uh, first or last name? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ellie. No, I don't. Okay. No, that's okay. I'm going to put that to the side because I do feel drawn to you when we had you in the boxes. And I want to say mm -hmm. that um, there's something about you are coming together with your family for the holidays or something, or you're coming together with your family. Is that correct? You mentioned uh, packing bags and you're taking a trip to Florida. Yeah. So there are there are plans to mm -hmm. get together oh, I think, with mm -hmm. family at various times during the holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom loves you. She just wants to tell you. I feel like in some way she didn't tell you enough. So I'm supposed to tell you that, okay? Also, do you understand the month of September? That's when she was born. Because see, I felt that S earlier. 
remember that S name? And I'm like, oh, I think it's September. I think that's what she was trying to give me, the September. So that makes sense. So I feel better now. I'm like, oh, you know, I mean, I want to make sure I, I'm, I'm serving uh, spirit in, in the right way. And, and I'm, sh I'm sure Cheryl might be able to take some of this information. There's nothing that you would not do for your mother is what she says. There's nothing that she wouldn't have done for me. Can you understand that, please? And I feel like in some way decorating the Christmas tree with a particular ornament or ornaments would be very um, meaningful to the both of you. Can you understand that, please? And that's that's what my brother, who's on this, um, he, Call. Doesn't, he doesn't want to open up quite yet. And I understand that, but that's what we did. We decorated the Christmas tree with all of her favorite colors. Your mother says uh, she's, she's, you know, your mother's laughing on the other side because she says, you know, I couldn't laugh at the end of my life, but I want to let you know I am laughing over here because, but it was difficult. You understand that uh, at the end of her life? Because there's something about not speaking and not being able to speak. Do you understand that, please? Yeah. But she's so. talking now. She's talking now. She wants you to know. And if I'm correct, and I, I feel like your mother is a beautiful beam of light. And I want to say that she feels like the star at the top of the tree. If you oh, understand boy. that, do you have a star at the top of your tree? I just have to ask that now. I don't know. My brother would have to chime in to let me know. Okay. If it's a star the That's tree. fair. I, but she, yeah, she loved giving to everybody. She, yeah. And and she's very fun in the way that she's very compartmentalized or very organized because I feel like everything was just so with her and she keeps using the word just so Cheryl she liked it to be that way mm -hmm. didn't always end up that way but that's what she <laughs> yeah and she says her eyesight's better that she couldn't see in the dark before or maybe she had mm. problems seeing in the dark but she can see now you understand <laughs> And she can walk in a straight line because I do feel she had a balance problem or issue, as they say. I don't even want to say the word problem, but she's like, um, Cheryl, you know, I, I was a mess, you know, I don't know. It's, you know, you know, this getting older stuff, you know, it's not for the, 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 the you know, it's for the birds, so to speak. Uh, but she does express kindness and she loves children. And I do believe she's working with children on the other side or giving kindness to children is what she says. And that. I just feel like her heart would be broken if there was ever a sad child around or a child in need. Uh, she does feel uh, very fortunate. And she, I, you know, she brings me shoestrings. I don't know why at the moment, but they're shoestrings. I'm asking her, I almost feel shoestrings on a pair of shoes. Uh, like she wouldn't go anywhere barefoot if this makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's almost like she always had a pair of shoes around or shoes on and you would understand having I don't know. Did you just buy a new pair of tennis shoes? Now I have to ask that question to see. I just did. You know, it's funny. It's kind of like if we can't work it out, it may belong to the recipient. It may be, that information may belong to you. Uh, but your mother says, thank you for hanging up my pictures. And she would have been a woman of faith. Can you understand that, please? Uh, because she feels like you hung up a picture and put a cross by it or a cross necklace or a that it's that it's that it's the symbolism is what she's showing me. She loves Christmas time. I want to say I feel the smell of pine and evergreen and I feel Christmas songs and, you know, just the joy like your mother was all you know she's only happy she wants you to know that she's only happy like um she she either um had problems with um conflict in this uh confrontation in this life or something like that i don't know i feel like i only want laughter i only want joy in in her life when she was living and she was very sensitive your mom i do want to say she feels to be a very sensitive tender person and she apologizes for being rough with you at times is what i'm hearing uh but you know there's just no way it, she just says but cheryl there's just no easy way around it you know and i want to say that she shows me you were recently hanging her shirts or recently talking about her things in her in the closet and i do believe some of them belong to her at least two things you have some of her favorite things in the closet is what she says yeah yeah and i and, can't get rid of them 
Yeah, it's like one is either a nice jacket or a nice sweater, but it's like she's keeping them nice for me. You know, she like you pet, not that you pet them, but they must be nice texture or we we connect with them. We touch them and you can still smell special blouses, your special blouses that she gave Thank me you. that I may not wear, but I can't get rid of them. Because of course, of course. And they they feel like they still have her uh fragrance on them or her special fragrance on them and she says oh Cheryl I'm all around your her house and uh, I just feel that she shows me the color pink and I just feel like oh, she's all around your oh. house can you understand that like I feel and like my brother my brother who lives in the house that burned down it's now rebuilt he just repainted the living room like the oh. color pink oh lovely lovely she must be there as well um you know and um she came to you today and i i'm gonna hand it uh, i don't know if we have time for okay so that's a lot right that's quite a lot let's see where we go with this what did you guys write down i got a half about three-fourths of a page of notes and i'm getting better at putting these nice and tight together here so cheryl starts off with having multiple people who it could apply to them think about how generalized this is a mom who's died the month of july um one of three children or mom is one of three children or at least one of two children she died near covid time or from covid something respiratory possibly a ring that is significant so at least two women of the 35 people who were on this call felt that a lot of that applied to them so so cheryl's going back and forth trying to get you know which one is it <laughs> So finally, she decides on Patty G because she says that her mom says that she's packing two bags to go on a trip. This is what, December 16th, when I think this this video, um, the recordings were done. So how likely would it be for somebody to go on a trip to go see family or whatever in the middle of December, getting ready to go see family? Okay, so finally, Patty G seems to win over the other woman who's there. Um, oh, I, I love this little this little thing that uh, Suzanne says. She says, um, oh, they're right there next to each other on this on my screen. So, you know, they're both really similar to what they're getting They're They're it's so. You know, it could be this one or it could be that one. Boy, that's really amazing that they're so close together on the screen. And <laughs> I've seen her say that kind of thing before. Like where they appear on the screen in Suzanne's perspective has something to do with the dead contacting them and blending the two together because they're getting confused between the two. Right. Mm hmm. Well, as Cheryl says, well, you know, when they raise their hand, what happens is they're, they go to the top, right at the very top, so that we can see them when they raise their hand. And that's why they're right next to each other, Suzanne. And you should know that, Suzanne, because you've been using Zoom for the last few years, at least. Um, we've been watching you, so I know you have. I don't know why. Okay, what else? Um this confusion over a gift reading that's going to come up again where people are saying, oh, I gave this gift to my brother who was not there. I, I, I don't know what that's all about. When I bought the reading, I didn't have an option to give a gift to anybody. They didn't write me an email saying, you know, would you like to gift? Um, a, since you bought a reading, we will give you another reading if you want to gift it to somebody. In other words, to get butts and seats. And there's 35 people here and that's about it um so it was getting confusing about who had a gift reading what that had to do with anything i don't i don't really know okay so patty g says her mom died in july of 2019 which was near covid she died in she died from a respiratory 
problem because there was a house fire. And that, I just heard that this time, this time through listening to it, it was kind of muted. Like there was some kind of garbly with the uh, internet at that moment. So I'm, I don't know if Cheryl heard that or not, but if there had been a house fire and the woman was stuck in the house and she had problems, you know, with the, she inhaled a lot of smoke, I would think that is where Cheryl would have gone with her reading instead of going and trying to get some other way with Florida and packing for a trip and that kind of stuff. I would think that would have been the whole, I mean, because Patty G came right out and said her mom had been in a house that had caught on fire and her mom had respiratory illnesses uh, issues because of the smoke. And so I think Cheryl missed it because like I said, there was like an internet kind of uh, glitch and, and it was really hard to hear her say that. Okay. So one woman out of, uh, of the people said that she didn't have any rings of her mother that was significant, which is really odd because nobody really throws away rings. And even if you can't wear it on your ring, you would put it on a necklace or you you would still have had them and given them away or something like that. But it's unlikely that you're going to not have your parents' rings. Um, I mean, I would think that'd be common, but maybe not. At least one woman didn't, the other did. So for a cold reading medium, just throw out who has the rings or what's this about the ring? Is it signif a significant ring? She doesn't say wedding ring. She says it's a significant ring. So it could be a lot of different things. Um, the beauty, oh, this is the beauty of the spirit world that'll bring both, bring as many people in by being so vague that what I'm saying out of my mouth is applying to so many people. That is Cheryl's way of saying that it is the beauty of spirit. I call it just being vague and cold reading, but okay. Um, six of one, half a dozen of another. Um, what's this about Florida? Now that was really interesting because, because Patty G pauses for a little bit and she's like, Florida, well, uh, we spent a lot of time there. My brother has a home there, you know, we're getting ready to go to Florida. You know, it was a place we spent a lot of time at. So it was odd how that pause. I'm not sure what that was all about. Now, when Florida is a very populous state, it also has a very large um, group of people who are elderly who move to Florida and um, if they don't move to Florida they often go to visit family or friends who are in now in Florida it's a destination place for people to move to it's nice and warm and and other reasons I'm sure they have for going to Florida but even if they hadn't had moved there or frequently vacation there it's possible she could have gone on a vacation there or been to a vacation place there or wanted to go to Florida or a family member is in Florida or wanted to go to Florida. Also remember Disney world is in Florida. So people, I mean, a lot of people go to Disney world. So sending people, people going to Florida to go to Disney world is a common thing. So Florida as a throwing out of a, of a place, that's a really good place it's not like she said nebraska or um idaho which would be not is um likely to have somebody live there visit there go on vacation there or want to go there yeah I'm, I'm, nebraska and idaho i'm sure are lovely places but it's not the destination that you would think florida would be if you're throwing out cold reading Packing bags to take a trip. Who's packing? I see two bags like Mary Poppins. Okay, it's very visual. And then we get to the S name. Is there an S name first or last? Wow. That's really giving a lot. First or last. And this woman couldn't even come up with a first or last name for with an S name. That's really interesting. Out of all the people you know, living or dead, that would have the uh, first initial S um, or in the first name or the last name is pretty wild there. You know, you don't have any Steves or Susans or Sarahs in your family. She just wasn't thinking. 
I don't know what was going on with her, but she wasn't thinking. But so <laughs> she says, are they coming together with family for the holidays? Almost most uh, a very good percentage of the people are coming home for the holidays, especially since she's already mentioned her brother. And she's also mentioned that she's going to Florida to for the family. Um, and so she then she pops in. Mom loves you. She wants me to tell you she loves you. I mean, that's so manipulative, right? I it's. It's a wishful thing that we all hope that our parents do love us. But to say it like that is, it just is like, oh, by the way, you know, your mom loves you. I'm really in touch with your mom right now. So I don't know, again, what was going on, on the screen. I was taking notes. I'm not really looking at the screen and that it's blurred anyway. But there might have been a lot more feedback going on in there with the um, visuals. You, you might want to rewind it and see what you can see. September. All right. So she says, what's this about September? And then la-di-da, there's a hit. Mom was born in September. There's only one in 12 chances of that happening. Surprised it was a month with 30 days in it, but you know, whatever. And then when she hits September and she says, it's my mom was born then, she says, there's the S name. I knew it was going to hit. September and S. She was trying to say September. Now, your mom has died and your mom was born in September and she's trying to get a message to you. Do you think she's going to try to tell you the month that she was born in? September is the month I was born in. Really, really, your dead mom has come back and is communicating through this medium cheryl murphy and her her message to you is september it was the month i was born in gosh man these people who oh, and people believe this they're gonna leave this going oh my gosh i saw this medium and the medium said mom came through and she knew my mom's birthday was in in september she knew it. She said, your mom's born in September. And she knows about us going to Florida. And she knows uh, about her having a respiratory illness and dying in July. And she knows she was one of three kids. No, that's not what was said. Not at all. What she said was, who has a mom who's died and something to do with July and one of three children or mom was one of three children or at least somebody was one of two children. And out of the 35 people who were on the call, somebody, two people said, that sounds like it's my, my mom because it's so vague. So, but what we remember and what we repeat to our friends and family after the event is we say, we change the story around. We mishear it. And it tells a better story if we say it that way. I mean, if it's like, oh, I went to this medium and there was 35 people in the room. And she said, is anybody here have anything to do with the month of July? And and somebody had one of their one of three children and or maybe one of two children or maybe mom was one of three children or or somebody died somewhere around. <laughs> No, that's not how you tell the story. You tell it the other way around because that sounds really, really interesting, cool and exciting. Okay, mom loves you. Don't forget, mom loves you. Christmas tree ornaments. It's Christmas time. Uh, why wouldn't there be Christmas tree ornaments? A lot of times Christmas tree ornaments are handed down and special ones are saved. Our house, we've got Christmas ornaments that are saved from the family. Um, lots of memories with those ornaments. It's not something you usually you throw out. Brother is on the call, but does not want to open up. So what does that mean? Her brother is in the other room where he's sitting on the couch out of the frame and he doesn't want to do this. He's scared or he's afraid or he's crying or he thinks it's silly or who knows what. But her brother's there. Is that what she was saying? It, your mom is the star at the top of the tree. Wow, that's that's just really philosophical. 
And then she says, is there a star at the top of the tree? I have to ask. And she goes, well, I don't know. I have to ask my brother. And then she says, mom is really organized. She liked things just so. That's what she's saying to me. Cheryl, just so. I like things just so. Well, that's true of most people. Doesn't It's organized in their own way. I have a very good friend. His idea of organized is piles of paper everywhere. Just a mess. There's no way anybody can find anything. He says he can find anything. No problem. But it's his way of organizing. So he's organized. And it's just so. Um, but what... What Patty G says is, yeah, well it, well, it didn't always work out that way, but that's how she did like it. So in other words, mom probably wasn't as organized as she wished she could be. Hey, and check it out. Mom, who's dead, now on the other side, she can see in the dark. Wow, her eyesight is so much better. She can now see in the dark. And she can walk better. She's walking around now. She can walk in a straight line now. She was having problems walking before. Really? Is mom really? Or is that just something you're saying? Hmm. She loves children on the other side. She absolutely loves children. And she's doing things to help children. And she 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 has problems with, um, you know, seeing a sad child or a child with a... Okay. How is she helping children from the other side? What is she doing? Why, if, if that's a, if, if there's a possibility to help children, then uh, why isn't she helping children? Why is there so many children that are dying? Brain cancers and leukemias and all kinds of things and children dying all over the world. Malnutrition. Um, or trying to cross borders and falling off of boats, children drowning, children in SIDS conditions, children um, in war zones, famine conditions, slavery, all the horrible things that are happening to children and have always happened to children. And Patty G's mom is supposed to be helping children out. If she's in, she's in the, heaven helping them well why isn't she helping them what is she doing finger puppets how is she making them better is she like what telling them stories is she... or is this a situation that she is helping patty g's mom is helping and and making children's lives better and that if Patty G's mom wasn't helping them right now, then children would be worse off than they are right now. Again, mediums throw out these things, not expecting somebody to really think about it and really think it through. And what does that mean? Because once you think about it and what it really means, then it doesn't mean anything really cogent. You know, just, it, it's not, when you think about it, it, it doesn't, it isn't what you think. Okay. So here she is not helping at all. Oh, shoestrings. There are shoestrings on a pair of shoes. Oh my gosh. Shoestrings on a pair of shoes. Wow. Uh, your mom never went barefoot. Well, a lot of people when they're elderly, don't go barefoot, especially if you have diabetes, you can't really go barefoot and they don't do a lot of barefoot in the house their feet are cold they're you know all that stuff and it's obvious her mother was elderly when she died because of the way she was talking about how she was now able to see better and she could now walk better and just the idea that she probably died um well she died in 2019 so cheryl can see the age of the person she's giving a reading to and so the person she's giving a reading to is in her 60s at least so mom would be 70 or 80 something, 85 when she died in 2019. So um, a lot of people wear shoes. So why is, again, Patty, it's your mom. Um, I'm not going to tell you my name because you know it. And I want to tell you, uh, I'm, I used to not wear I used to always wear shoes and I, you just bought some shoes. 
and they had shoe shoe strings on them. Wow. She's a woman of faith. Well, no kidding. A lot of these people are people of faith because they are getting these readings. So as I've said multiple times in many, many videos, um, to the people who are here getting readings, it's never dawned on them that mediumship is not possible. They may have run into some mediums that they found were not connecting well, or they felt were fraudulent, or they didn't get along with really well. They didn't like their style. But it's always occurred to them that somebody can connect with the dead. And so, um, of course, they're people of faith. If you believe in life after death, well, then you are getting a reading. It's very few people who don't believe in life after death go to mediums. It's It happens, but it's not a high percentage. So you hung up a photo in a frame and then put a religious item with it. And I'm not sure if pa Patty G ever said that was true or not. She might have been nodding her head. I'm not quite sure. Uh, your mother loved Christmas. Lots of people love Christmas. And if she'd said, no, my mom hates Christmas, even though we've already talked about Christmas ornaments and people going to see family at Christmas time. Let's say mom hated Christmas. And um, then Cheryl would have said, now she loves Christmas. Um, and I guess if she was Jewish or so, uh, some other uh, religion that didn't have anything to do with Christmas I guess that would have already come out by now but I think generally most of the people on the call are going to be Christmas people hanging shirts in closets she said you were hanging shirts in closets and there's a couple items that you don't want to get rid of well yeah if they're really nice or there's something you might wear or something you might hand give down to a, a, a grandchild when they get older or you just remember your mom in that and you don't want to get rid of it there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's the problems are usually when somebody refuses to do anything and and remove, you know, get rid of anything and they can't move on. They they the house is just exactly the same, the room is exactly the same, nothing is moved. Um that's usually whenever you're getting into extreme uh grief. Um but um having a few things and keeping rings and all that that's and pictures and that's quite normal. Okay, color pink. I All Cheryl said was the color pink. That's all she said. And this woman was like, oh my gosh, my brother who lives in the house that had been burned down, that is now rebuilt, um, painted the dining room or the living room walls pink. There you go. And, and Cheryl's like, oh, she must be at that house also. Well, there's there's the proof right there. Cheryl said the color pink. And the brother has painted a room a color pink. I bet it's probably salmon um, or some other color that it would be on a little card. It wouldn't say pink. But uh, that's it. That's where it ended. How'd she do? What do you got? What kind of notes did you take? What did I miss? I want to know. Please put them in the comments. Please like and share. Please, please, please um, watch the other videos. And let's see what else we think. Because when you watch them like this, you you get a whole different look at what the person, uh, what the style of the medium is like, what it's the whole um, way they interact with the, with the clients. And, aha. Uh -huh, I have reviewed Cheryl Murphy before. And so there's a whole playlist of other videos she has done with Thomas John um, when Thomas John was there and she did half of the readings. So those videos are up on my channel right now. And there is an article from Skeptical Inquirer that is, as I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, is not out yet, but it should be in a couple of days. And then you will find that in the description as well as an article I've written about Suzanne Northrup in the description of this video. So this is video three of six. Uh, Santa has not come yet. It is still early. And I have a house full of sleeping people and cats. So I have 
time to finish the last three videos, I think. So thank you for staying with me and thank you for your comments. I know they'll be there and I'm looking forward to reading them.